In this video, I'll be going over installing the Apache 2 web server on a Windows 7 system. I've done this video before, but it was tailored to hook in uh, a web programming language called PHP into Apache in a, in a later video. And what happened is, is that the versions of the Visual Studio compiler to compile both of the Apache 2 web server and PHP, those changed and it kind of made the people were trying to follow the videos and it wasn't working for them anymore. So I, I have to go in and redo it, which isn't a, isn't a problem because I don't want people following the videos and it just doesn't work for them and they get frustrated. What you'll need to do is open up a web browser. Go to Apache Lounge. Dot com. Apache Lounge contains the latest versions of the Apache 2 web server compiled with modern versions of the Visual Studio compiler. It's important, especially if you want to hook it up into the PHP programming language, that the versions of the Visual Studio compiler match that was used to, and, and the compiler is used to take the source code and compile it into a binary that will run on your machine. And at the Apache Lounge website, they've already taken care of going through the, the hassle of uh, compiling it using the latest version of uh, the Visual Studio compiler. So you don't have to, and that saves a whole lot of time. Um, also, I should point out over on the left-hand side is that they have these donation links to keep the server online if you feel so inclined to, to donate. To download the latest version of uh, Apache, click on the Downloads link. Choose VC11. Go to the Apache 2.4 binaries section, and they have two different versions of Apache available for download. One for uh, Windows 64 and another for Windows 32. I'll be downloading the Windows 32-bit version. So I would right-click on this HTTPD 2.4.6 Windows 32-VC11. I would right-click on that choose save as, and I would save that out to my desktop, which I have already done. Additionally, you'll need to make sure that you have installed the Visual Studio redistributable for Visual Studio 2012, and they specify a link over here. Clicking on that link takes you to the Microsoft website. Click on the download button. If you're installing the 32-bit version of uh, the Apache 2 web server, you would check that box. If you're installing the 64-bit version, you would check the X64 checkbox. And I would click on Next, and it would prompt you to download it. And you would take that, and you would save that out to your desktop, which I have already done. So first is to install the redistributable. I would double-click on the executable check on I agree to license terms and conditions. The setup is successful. Click close. Now the uh, Apache 2 web server is a compressed zip file. Uh, double click on the file. And I'm using a 7-zip as a file decompressor. Click on where it says Apache 24, choose extract, and extract that out to your C drive. So I'll type in C colon backslash and click on OK. Double click on the readme.txt file, and they include some additional instructions. Click on the start menu, type in CMD and right click on CMD EXE and choose run as administrator. Change the directory to um, Apache 24. And in here we'll, we'll install Apache, the Apache 2 web server as a service. You can do that by typing in HTTPD space dash K space install. It'd be helpful if I changed the binary directory first. 
and run the same command. It's uh, giving me a firewall prompt. Um, I'll just make it available for private networks and click on allow access. And now it's installed as a service. If I want to uninstall it at a later time, you can just do the same command, but uh, do an uninstall instead of uh, an install. In a Windows Explorer, I'll go to Apache 24, click on the binary directory, and they have an Apache monitor.exe. Go ahead and double click on that. And in the lower right hand corner, this kind of strange icon has appeared. And if you don't see it in there, you have to probably click on that double up arrow and uh, right click on this and choose open Apache monitor. And this shows the Apache 2 web server and it stopped because it has like a, a little red light to the left of it. Select Apache 2.4 and, and choose start. So open up the monitor again. And now, now it shows it, it's up and running. So I can go ahead and click on OK. It'd probably be beneficial if I just uh, copy this. And on my desktop, I'll choose Paste Shortcut. So I can easily get to it at a later point in time. Now, in, in a web browser, I should be able to head on out to localhost. And it says it works which is good. It means that the Apache 2 web server is running. But let's say I just want to create an internal uh, website that's only accessible to, to my network. How, how do I do that? Let's say I want to go out to my website dot local domain and, and have it work from there. And, and I'll go through the steps on, on doing that. Um, so on the start menu, click on start, type in CMD, right click on cmd.exe and choose run as administrator. You should be in the Windows System32 directory. Change the directory to drivers backslash etsy. Type notepad hosts and press enter. There may be information in this file or it may be blank. Uh, but in here what I'll do is I'll type in the IP address, which is an internal loop back IP address, which is 127.0.0.1 and I'll give it a website name, and I'll call it mywebsite.localdomain. And this website's not accessible through the regular internet, it's just internal to this specific machine. And I'll choose File, and then Save. Now, in my home directory, and I'll have to go to C, Users, Joe, I'll create a folder called my website. And I already have a test HTML document. And all it says is this is a test web page. I'll get rid of the hello. And I'll copy the index.html file into the my website folder. And I'll, I'll configure a, a website in Apache that'll reference the, this folder location. I'll browse back to the Apache 2.4 instance and there is a conf directory and I'll edit, I'll go ahead and create a backup copy of httpd.conf by copying and then pasting, and I'll create a new copy of it. And I'll open up httpd.conf in a text editor. That's big, let me shrink it down a little bit. In here, look for um, something called vhosts. Remove the pound symbol that appears before the word include and go ahead and save the file. 
I'll need to edit another file, go to the extra directory, and make another copy of the httpd-vhost file. And the reason was I'm, I'm making a copy so I have a backup of it, just in case if I, if I mess up, which I shouldn't, but open up the httpd-vhost file in a text editor. And uh, the, these list different websites, and they, and they include two sample ones. So I'll, I'll change the, the first one. Instead of uh, calling it dummyhost.example.com, I'll change that to mywebsite.localdomain. I'll remove the web server alias, change the error log and custom log files to refer to uh, my website dot local domain. And, and for the document root, I'll change that to be my home directory on my Windows machine, which is users slash Joe. And I created a folder called my web site. So that's kind of my home directory for, for my web site on my, uh, on my computer. And I should change the server admin email address. I'll call it webmaster at my website local domain. And I'll remove this lower virtual host entry since it's just a, an example. I'll save this file, go to my Apache monitor, and I'll choose restart and see what happens. Let's see if I can now go to my website.local domain and see if it works. It's saying it's forbidden. By default, uh, what Apache does is that it won't allow you to view any of the files in a, in a website folder, so I would have to modify my configuration to allow for that. If I go back to the httpd.comp file, and uh, let me look for the word um, directory. Kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, there's a document root. It's probably better to look for document root. This is the main web server document root, and in here there's a directory, a, a directive. And what I'll do is I'll copy this directory directive, which begins with the lesson symbol directory. I'll copy all these lines down to where it says uh, directory again with a backslash before it. I'll copy that, and in my virtual host file below custom log. I'll paste that into there. But I'll change the directory to my document root directory for my particular website. So I'll copy the document root in here and paste it in here. So it says C colon slash users slash, that would be your username. For me, it's Joe and then slash and then the web, my website folder that I created. And I'll remove all these lines with a, with a pound before them because those are just comments. I'll change the allow override from none to all. Save the file. Open up the Apache 2 monitor again and click on restart. And I should be able to refresh this. And now it says this is a test web page which matches the contents of uh, test.index.html. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.